That was the best party I've ever been to. DJ Cut, numero uno. That was, that was... That was so fun. That, dude, that was so fun. What's going on? It's December 1st. Made it to the last wedding of 2018. We're at the Setno Hotel, getting ready to do a wedding for Alex and Nikki. Uh, we're gonna head upstairs. The guests are gonna arrive here in about an hour. So we have a little bit of downtime. We'll go over notes, see how we're gonna do the grand entrance. Prepare some of our cocktail music, uh, background music for the ceremony, but we'll go inside and show you the beautiful Setno Hotel. This is one of the nicest hotels uh, in downtown Portland. So let's go inside. Sweet. Yeah, Thanks. Might as well. <laughs> Thank you guys. So this is the main uh, grand ballroom. This is where our reception is gonna be for today. First up, wireless setup. So this will be hooked up over here and then we'll put our speakers in the back of the room so everybody can hear uh, what's going on and it's not unpleasant for the people that are sitting right up here. Ceremony box, our DDJ, which is what we're gonna play off of. We have a reception box and we'll go over how we uh, hook everything up into here. For speakers, I'll show you what we got. All gonna be ran into this sub so that way we can take all the bass out of these speakers. Um, each one of these are all 1,000 watt speakers. We only use about two to 300 watts for like a good dance party. But if you don't pull the bass out and have that extra sound, when the volume gets high, it doesn't sound as good. So this makes sure that when we have those higher level volumes that everything sounds really clean. Most people just go directly into the DDJ, which we'll show you here in a little bit, as a band mixer. And so because we run our microphones into here, it gives us a lot cleaner sound. And then if anything happened to our DDJ, we can still run stuff out of, you know, the microphones out of here. If we were just relying on the DDJ and that thing went out, we have no option. We have our two wireless microphones. Then we have a backup microphone and extra batteries. These are the cords that are gonna run into our sub. This is our recorder in case we're doing videography. We've got our extra power strip. And then most important, haven't had to use it yet, but we have an iPod cord. And I also have a backup uh, iPod that I use just in case something happens. So in here, I always keep all my cords so that way I don't ever forget anything. This is my custom skirt. So that way I can take these cords, slide them down in this pocket. And when I slide this out, it looks nice and clean. No cords are showing. So by having this custom made skirt, we're able to hide these cords so they're not going straight down. That's what it would look like coming off the front of our table and it doesn't look good. This doesn't go all the way to the floor and we'd have to run the cords in front. So having this skirt with this table that this height just makes it look really, really clean. I'm really particular about making sure that my setup looks professional. So we have this speaker back here. Look how far that is from here. Trying to run a cord all the way around. That's why we have our wireless system. So this is our wireless setup. And now I'll show you how this system works with this system over here. And the good thing about this is, is I can control speakers individually. When the dance party starts, we still want some sound back there, but most of the sound is gonna be up here. We want the people in the back room still being able to have a conversation. So we'll turn it down a little bit and then we'll turn these up for the dance party. So come here for this particular event. We're gonna do a 10 up lights. We have this nice fabric behind us. So we're gonna up light this and then probably up light this side of the room. There's not a lot of power in this room. So this is why the wireless ones really come in handy when, uh, when we're setting up these kind of rooms. So up lights look really good on the pipe and drape. This is the focus of the whole wedding is the bride and groom in the wedding party. All the attention is gonna be up here. Most of the pictures are gonna be up here. So we need to make sure that this looks really good for them. All right, so we just came from the grand ballroom, which is over there. The ceremony is gonna be in this room. So let's go check this out. 
No, I don't need any chairs to move. I would just right up against the that's back fine. of it. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I think that's gonna be the best option. You can see right here in this area, it's like the walkway, but this is the only place we can set up. So by bringing my own table, it's nice and small, unintrusive, we can set everything up. I can see when the bride walks in, I can communicate with Amy, uh, the coordinator. And so now we're gonna do our uh, mic check, make sure everything sounds good. Check one, two, check one, two. So this is a long haul. They'll be able to hear the voices in these front rows. That's why we put the speaker facing the back. Once the ceremony is done, we need to go directly into the ballroom so we can have a clean transition, get ready for cocktail hour. And that's why we have a second setup in this room. So what's your name again? Hey, my name is Jeff. Jeff, Alex, it's Alex, really good to meet you. Good to meet you too. So we're gonna mic you up with this mic and I got another mic for you. Sounds good. So when you get up there, can you make sure that everybody, tell everybody to turn off their cell phones? Sure. That would be awesome. So, okay, I can do that right at the beginning. After you pronounce them, I won't play their walkout music until I actually see them take a footstep. Okay. Okay. Right. Then once the last of the wedding party gets yep. out here, I will, I will turn it down and turn your microphone Perfect. back on. Perfect. This okay. is live right now, Got it. but I keep the volumes all the way down until you get up there. So that way you don't have to worry about muting it or anything. Truly today, as you make vows to one another, you, Nikki, are joining the Alex Bennett Airlines. And Alex, like <laughs> you're gonna join the Nikki Airlines, right? You guys are trusting each other to join, to put yourself into the other person's hands. And that's a huge responsibility. To bear the weight of that is right. You're not responsible to make the other person happy, but you are responsible to love them in the way that you're about to vow. So I begin with you, Alex, and I ask you this question. Do you, Alex, take Nikki to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And I have more. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I love... I you're so eager. I absolutely love the eagerness with which you're responding. That makes me feel so good. <laughs> I have noticed that you kissed three times. I, that's in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, which I think is... A beautiful thing. Everybody, it is my wonderful privilege to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Alex and Nikki Bennett. Really chaotic time. Um, everybody's going from the ceremony site into the reception. We're bringing everything over. All right, so now we got all our up lights. They want a gold color, wireless. See, everybody's hanging out here at the bar. And so if we just had those speakers, it'd be hard from here. So we're gonna go over the timeline with the planner, uh, make sure that everything is still on time. Um, we're at cocktail hour right now, probably got about another half an hour left, but I always like to double check with my planner. I'm going off her timeline, but I just wanna make sure everybody's on the same page. I don't know where to start for my dad for putting on the 45 minute show up here for... <laughs> that was uh, making me cry, whatever you want to say. Is playing catch with my son in the backyard because we had terrific conversations. So Nikki, I want you to have the same opportunity. I bought her her own glove. And those real meaningful things need to be said. You guys can share those times that I had with Alex, just like you in that backyard. And here's an open invitation for you. If things get tough for you, you just pick up that glove and you show me and I'll be outside with you too.
All right, so we just finished our wedding at the Sentinel. The party was off the hook. Everything went pretty much smooth. Uh, the only thing I wish we had, I really wish we had the spotlights on the dance floor. It was pretty dark out there, but other than that, the bride and groom were happy, all the guests were happy. Uh, they kept us a little bit extra. It is now midnight, so for the last wedding of the season, this one was pretty good, so uh, no, no complaints here. So now it's uh, back and planning for 2019.